Welcome to Definite Mind. This is a radical equation, and I will tell you that maximum strength find only one value of x for which this equation satisfied. But there are more than one value of x for which this equation satisfied. So don't skip this video. Watch till last, and also like, share, and subscribe this channel. I will write this equation as in place of three, I can write minus one plus four, and other I will write same. And here, in place of eight, I will write minus one plus nine, and also keep same, which is equal to one. Now I will write this x minus one as under root x minus one whole square, and this four can be written as two to the power two, and this four two into two under root x minus one. And I will write this also under root x minus one whole square, and this nine can be written as three to the power two, and this six can be written as two into three, and which is equal to one. Now you will see here this is in a square and this is b square minus two ab, so we can write this using that formula. Under root x minus one and minus two whole square, and here also a square plus b square minus two ab. So we can write under root x minus one minus three whole square, which is in square root. Now this square and this root will cancel. So here under root x minus one minus two. And this is square, and this root also cancels. So under root x minus one minus three equal to one. So if you add this two, then you will get two under root x minus one, and minus two minus three become minus five equal to one. And this minus five will go this side. Then we can write equal to six, and this will cancel in three times. So if we square both sides, then we'll get x minus one equal to nine, so x equal to ten. So you will get only x equal to ten. No, other values are also possible for x. So how we can find? This is the main problem. Okay. So I will tell you that important concept. If we consider this under root x minus one as a t. Under root x minus one equal to t, then you will write here p minus two whole square, which is in square root, and here also you will write t minus three whole square, which is under root equal to one. Now anything will come outside the root, then that will be in positive. So if we Make this out, then there is a mod because only positive value outside come from root. Okay, here also t minus three will be positive, so I am putting this in mod. Now for t equal to two, this two. Expression sum is equal to one because if you put t in place of t two, then two minus two zero and two minus three, which is minus one, a mod of minus one, is equal to one. So t is satisfied with two, and also t equal to three. This equation satis this expression satisfied because three minus two will give one, a mod of one is one, and t minus three is zero, so one equal to one. So t value is what two and three, and if you put here, then you can write under root x minus one equal to t that is two for two, and if you square both sides, then you will get x minus one equal to four. This means x equal to five, and also under root x minus one equal to if you write five, then if you square both sides, then you will get x minus one equal to sorry three. 
then you will get 9 that is x equal to 10 you will get so there are two values of x for 5 and 10 and if you put here 5 then you will get 5 plus 3 how much 8 and here 5 minus 4 this become 8 and here 5 minus 1 4 a square root of 4 is what 2 so 8 minus 8 will give 0 so under root 0 is 1 no, sorry 0 so this expression is 0 and here if you put 5 so you will get 13 and here 5 minus 1 4 that is 12 13 minus 12 that is 1 and the square root of 1 is what 1 and same also if you put 10 here this become 13 and this is 10 minus 1 this is 9 so if you so you will get 3 here 3 into 4 12 13 minus 12 which is 1 square root of 1 is 1 and this becomes 0 so this equation is satisfied with the value of x and for value of 10 so thanks for watching video and please like share and subscribe this channel also